Welcome back guys, this is another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be covering multiple ways to deal with shadows on renders and how to get them off the background and easily manipulatable off of your render itself. Uh, in this particular instance I don't want just white behind them, but I don't want to have to try and decide what color I do want back there in 3D. I'd rather have the ability to manipulate it in Photoshop if at all possible. So once I've got my render of um, my characters here with the shadows on the ground plane, one way you can get um, a version of just the shadows to use is to grab all of your objects except the ground and go to object properties and then uncheck visible to camera. Then when you render that you're actually going to get a version of your scene that has all of the shadows however all of the characters will be missing and what you can do with that once that is finished rendering is you can take it and set it on multiple mode in Photoshop and that'll produce an effect like this where the white becomes transparent and allows the colors underneath in this case red to show through um, I tend to not use this method in favor of a different method but that's just one way of doing it uh, another way of doing it, the way that I usually do, is to take your scene and just take every single thing in the scene except the ground and make it 100% white uh, with a self-illumination of 100 and then make the ground uh, black. And then you can also change your, or you should change your rendering environment to black as well. Um, or you can make the characters black and the ground white, either way. Uh, the reason I do it this way <clears throat> is because if you were to just delete the ground plane and then render this out as your mask, if anything had gone below that ground plane, like for instance this bottom of the snowman here, uh, that would show up in the mask, whereas if you do it this way it's going to clip right at the ground level. So once you've rendered that out, you'll have a file that looks something like this. Uh, this was done with the black character white ground method. I'm just going to invert it. Uh, you can then highlight your entire image, copy it, and then if you go to your render in your scene in your Photoshop file and hit layer mask, the little uh, gray box with the white circle on it, and then alt click the layer mask. This is actually the layer mask itself. Just paste in your mask and now when you go back to your layers you have perfectly clipped out characters that you can have over your background and then if you want the shadows just duplicate that layer uh, delete the layer mask and then just set this other layer on multiply and now you've got a, a layer of your shadows that you can manipulate the opacity of uh, do filters on do anything with um, and a version of your characters. The reason I tend to do it this way is because you won't get any nasty clipping around um, the place where the shadows and the render overlay each other. Whereas if you do it that first way where you render a shadow layer you are going to get some minor artifacts. Uh, if you do it this way at worst you're just going to get a slightly darkened version of whatever the render is around the rim and I've found that that adds um, contrast if anything and helps it look better. So that's the tip. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot them to me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, whatever you prefer, and I hope it was helpful.